realise this still hasn't sunk in my brain properly. Me and Rolo won at Royal International. I think you can see by this, but we got two sashes, not one, but two sashes, which are probably the nicest looking sashes ever. This one's even got a little mini rosette on it. And then this one is just like all OTT, massive red, white, and blue. Let's rewind this back a couple of months ago where we were chasing our ticket to qualify for the Royal International Horse Show. So one of the first qualifiers I did, I actually wrong legged it on Rolo and it was, it was a bit upsetting, but it's, it's took us so far and now our uh, touch wood, I've never done that again <laughs> because I make sure it's just, it's just not a thing rug legging now. So every single thing that we've done wrong, we've learnt from, and now I could do my show and my in hand with my arms closed, with my eyes closed. But just qualifying for Royal International was a massive achievement and we were so happy with that because it's in our first season showing and we'd qualified for this and only 30 ponies get to go. So we were so happy with that. So now I want to take you to the day of Royal International, or well, the night before. So the night before, my mum actually just flew back from Paris because she was shooting um, someone's wedding and she didn't get back until 11 o'clock last night and she didn't go to bed until 12 o'clock and I didn't go to bed until like 10. So we only, mum only had one hour sleep and I had a couple more than her but we had to get up at 1 a.m. the next morning. So mum had one hour sleep, so she was absolutely exhausted. She did sleep on the way up there, but it's just not the same of actually getting your actual like proper sleep. When we got to the yard, mum went to go get a roller in and I was just packing up a few bits. And then he came in and we tied him up outside of his stable and he lost one of his shoes the morning of R.I. So instantly we were like, um, Rello, where, where's your shoe gone? So this is an absolute disaster because it's, it's now 2 a.m. and obviously no farriers are awake. So we're like, well, what do we do? Do we go to R.I. and just do with a no shoe or do we just not go to R.I. and have the shoe put on that morning? So my mum asked for my phone so she could have two torches because she had to go frantically search Rolo's field to go find the shoe. Um, and mum was looking around. It's pitch black, by the way, guys, like not a single light apart from my mum's torches. So about 20 minutes later, Rolo's got his boots, his travel boots on, and then mum comes running into the yard saying, I've got a shoe. And she's holding up a tiny silver small shoe. And then... We're just like, okay, right, we like literally trotted to the trailer to load him up because we were late. Um, and then we just kind of zoomed off. Um, and everyone slept in the car, apart from Nan, who was driving. And then we're just like, well, hang on a minute. What about the shoe? Because it's not on him. So we because we took my trainer Beatrice with us as well. Um, and we're like, B, is there like a farrier there or something? Or is, is, there, is there any sort of like farrier awake at three, like two, half two in the morning? So she's like, well, there's normally a farrier at the show. So we're like, perfect. We'll just, we'll, we'll get the shoe put on as soon as we get there. So the whole entire time we're driving up there and then we start getting ready. And we're just thinking, are we even going to be able to do this? Like, are we even going to be able to compete today? And then we try and find the farrier and he's absolutely nowhere to be seen. But guys, we got the shoe put back on. Like it, it was just a, it was just like a kind of moment. Like so much stress was just instantly relieved. With all this exhaustion and all this stress, my mum didn't even film it. So she's only got a couple iPhone clips and hopefully they're good enough. But we didn't even film it guys. Like we normally film like everything, but we didn't even film it. But that's just typical. We have the biggest win ever for us and we didn't even film it. So the first class of our day was the junior M&M small breeds. And 
we did our go round, everyone was shutting and cantering round, and then I originally get pulled in at... I think it was 11th or 12th. 11th or 12th and we were buzzing with that we were like okay because there's like 30 ponies in the class and we were just like right heart like just just keep that try your best um everyone did their shows and their confirmations and then i get placed at seventh seventh which we, we were so happy about that we were just like we, we were absolutely buzzing with that we were so excited with getting placed and getting seventh place at our ride. But then we had to quickly untack him. I had to get changed. And then we had to sprint off to the pony mag stand because I was doing a meet and greet. And then straight after that, I had like a 10 minute break. So I went, go I went to go, after that, I had to go straight to an Aztec diamond signing. So we had two signings back to back. And then we had about an hour and a half to get ready for the M&M first ridden and then me and Rolo enter the ring and I'm feeling really really confident that hopefully I'll just get seventh place again because he went really really beautifully in the morning and I was just fingers crossed that we could at least get seventh place again um, but then everyone was like trotting around doing the go around and then we all get pulled in and I get pulled in in fourth and we were like we were over the moon about that we were buzzing um, and we, we were just so excited that I got pulled in fourth and we were like, right, just keep fourth. Fourth is good enough. Just keep, try and keep fourth. So whilst we were doing our show, a helicopter actually flew over and he literally didn't even flinch. He was an absolute dream and he didn't really change. Like he did literally nothing. I think our show was pretty flawless and I'm so happy with the show that we did. Um, and I don't think we could have done it any better really. It was actually quite a tight space. Um, so it was absolutely tiny and that's the space we had to do our show in. Um, and he was absolutely perfect in that. Um, and then we go to our confirmation and all the other ponies are doing their shows as well. And then they call out first to eighth place, but they actually do it in reverse order. So it's eighth to first. And in this time, I, I, I kind of start to feel a bit sick. So they're calling out eighth to first place. And as soon as they get past fourth place, I'm like, right, we've got no chance now. Um, and then I start kind of like daydreaming off and just thinking about, oh, it would have been so nice. And then, anyways, they call out second place and I'm like, right, I might as well just leave the ring now. I've got no chance. And then they call out first place. And I, by this time, I'm day, daydreaming off to Mars. So I don't really like, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I can picture the lap of honor. And then they, they start saying Coppins Hill, which is Rolo's prefix. And I'm like, well, hang on a minute, there's no other Coppins Hill ponies in this class. So I slowly start to like come, d come back down to earth. And then they start saying Coppins Hill, which is Rolo's show name, Coppins Hill. And then they start to say commemoration. And Rolo's show name is Coppins Hill Commemoration. So I was like, oh my God. And it took me about like three to four seconds to actually figure out that I'd won because they said it. And then I was like, that's me. So it was, it was a little bit crazy because I, I just didn't think in a million years that I would have won. Um, and then I was like, mum was absolutely screaming. Like if we, if we, mum, if you don't put like that audio on the video, I think anyone with headphones is going to be like, oh my God, I eardrums. Or they're going to, all people on their TVs. I can believe it though. All the, all the people on their TVs are going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa where's the remote? We've got to turn this down. And the winner. Huge, huge congratulations. It goes to Cuttings Hill Commemoration the Batman. Earned by Kelsey White and written by Harlow White. Huge, huge congratulations to oh you. Very, God. very well done. That pony does deserve a hug. Oh, well done to you. So huge, huge congratulations to our winner. Very well done indeed. The Dartmoor Pony, Coppins Hill Commemoration. A nine-year-old by the Stanley and Springwater Happy Day out of Shilston Rocks, another beach. Owned by Chelsea White and ridden by Harlow White. Two, four, six in third. In fourth, one, three, five, nine, Towergate first impression. Reception A, Harlow White. The Chelsea White, Coppins Hill 
commemoration that Artmore County takes it, well done to you. But it was such a surreal moment which we never imagined would have happened in our wildest, wild streams. But we couldn't believe we just won Royal International. We, we beat Royal International champions and ponies that had won Hoys in that class. So this was such a surreal moment. We were just like, oh my God, we won! So it, it was such a huge achievement and yeah, I also got, this is the sash you get for winning and it's like a bluey navy silver sash and it's absolutely amazing. And it's also got a little rosette at the end and oh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then I also got this really, really nice blue rosette and in first place you actually get blue, not red, which I actually kind of like because it makes it a little bit different. Um, but it's an absolutely beautiful rosette and it's almost a bit like a medal. Um, and we were over the moon with that. We could not believe it. So now we head into the championship, which is basically a four pony class and you only get to go into it if you um, come first or second in the class before. So now it's time for the results and they read it from reserve champion to champion. So it's, it's not a like suspense moment, but it's still pretty heart beating um but they they say reserve champion and i'm like oh okay it's it's fine like we didn't have to get champion we didn't have to get reserve champion and then they start to say coppins hill commemoration again and i'm just like oh my god we have just come a champion so i am absolutely over the moon i am buzzing um and at this point Rolo's like huh what like he's absolutely pooped he's done two classes, two laps of honours, two go-rounds, um, and he's already done a championship before. So he's like, huh? What, what day is it? So he, he's a bit, he's daydreaming you now. So this is what we won for coming champion. You get a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sash. Um, it says, Long Jeans Royal International Horse Show, Hickser 2023 Supreme Heritage Mini Champion. Um, and then you also get this plaque, which weighs a ton. I've got, isn't like a metal plaque. And it, it's Hickstead Royal International Horse Show 2023. And it is so heavy. I mean, this is like gym, gym weights. It's, it weighs a ton. And then you get this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous rosette. And it may not be the biggest rosette, but it's one of the prettiest rosettes ever. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's a bit like a medal as well. I love the R.I. rosettes because they're my favourite because they're like little medals. So my mum was crying the entire time. As soon as she heard that we run, she burst out in, in happy tears. And then all throughout the championship, she was like, <laughs> she was like sobbing her eyes out. And then for the championship, we won again so she she was just crying she was an absolute mess makeup was everywhere mascara was dripping down the face it was a mess but we were so happy and as soon as i came out of the ring people were waiting to interview me and rollo and um i did two i did one with hickstead and one with horse and hound so go check those out if you haven't opportunity and I just I still can't believe it so just tell me about him what to call him at home um, we call him Rolo Rolo and what do you do with Rolo aside from showing is he um, do you pass him out or um he loves hacking out and sometimes we'll do a bit of sh a bit of jumping for fun mm -hmm. um but yeah he's amazing at everything yeah. and what's his temperament like he's uh, um, he's so chill and calm and he's like got this thing like whenever you brush his forelock he just starts to like fall asleep instantly it's like his snooze button um and he's he's the most chill out dude ever he's very calm um this is your first time riding here yes yes yeah so what was your game plan today because it was such a strong um, class wasn't it Did you... it was such a strong class i my game was to just get round, mm -hmm. get round, and do the best i could i didn't really mind where i got placed but this is just 
This is amazing. Oh, brilliant. Well, thank you so much. Well done. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. That's thank lovely. You very yeah. much. Thank you. Very much. Thank thank you. you. Oh, so it's your first time competing here at Hickstead. How does it feel oh. to be the supreme? <laughs> Should we start again? Yeah. Okay. So it's your first time competing here at Hickstead. How does it feel to be the supreme mini champion? It's absolutely breathtaking. I, I words can't explain how I feel right now. He, Rolo just deserves the whole world. He is so well behaved, and uh, to be honest, I don't even think that I was I could I was coming first because when they read out second place, I was like, I've got no chance now. But never say never because dreams do come true. Uh, and it was an impressive lineup in that ring. How did it feel riding round? When I was riding round, I got pulled fourth, which was really good, and I was really happy with that. So when we got him, it was always my dream to go to RI and Hoys, and it's it's just it's still like unbelievable that we've we, we've we've qualified for this and we've won it. Like I w I went into that ring with no expectations at all. I just wanted to get round, have fun and do the best we could really. I didn't really mind about winning or I just, all I wanted to do is just get round and have a good show and good confirmation. And we did that and clearly it was good. So yeah, I am just so, so proud of him and you deserve a lot of stub muffins and treats now. <laughs> Super stuff, thank you. It was just such a surreal moment and our, it's, if you ever get to experience it, there's there's nothing like it. And yeah, some people say qualifying's the best bit of anything, but this was by far the best bit. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And I'm so, so, so grateful. Um, and Rolo was an absolute dream. He was such a good boy. Um, and he, he, he couldn't have done anything better. He worked his little socks off. But I just wanted to say thank you so much, Rolo, for letting me experience this and being the best little Darnwall ever because he he's won this, not me. These should be in his stable. Some people that have been showing for their whole life and career haven't even experienced this. So I'm so, so grateful um, for for being my trainer and for everyone around me that's been supporting me. And of course, Rolo, that they've they've took me this far and it's it's just absolutely incredible but thank you so much everyone who's been supporting me along this journey it's a day i'm never gonna forget thank you so much rollo for making this happen and making this possible i wouldn't have wanted to do it on any other pony but thank you so so much rollo you're the best little dartmoor ever um but thanks so much for watching today's vlog guys and yeah, hopefully we'll have more wins like this in the future.